Welcome to Excel Hive. In this video, I'll show you how to use advanced filtering in Excel to quickly extract exactly the data you need. We're working with a table of 100 employees with details like department, salary, and years in the company. By the end of this video, you'll feel confident setting up advanced filters on both Windows and Mac and save yourself hours of work. Here's our data. Each row represents an employee. We have columns for ID, first and last name, age, department, salary, years in company, and a project code. Imagine you need a quick report. All employees in finance with salaries over 70,000, and you want to show only their names, department, and salary. Instead of manually scrolling or using simple filters over and over, advanced filtering can do it in seconds. The normal auto filter is great for quick sorting, but advanced filter is much more powerful. It lets you build your own rules in a small criteria table. Then, with one click, Excel extracts exactly what you've described. This is perfect for recurring reports or when you need to copy filtered data elsewhere. Step one, set up your criteria range. I will go two columns next to my data and start typing column headers, but only the ones I want to filter by. In this example, I'll use department and salary. Directly underneath, I'll type finance under department and under salary. I'll type greater than 70,000. Excel reads this as, show me all finance employees earning more than 70,000. You can build more complex rules too, like multiple rows for OR conditions, or multiple columns for AND conditions. Now click anywhere inside your table. Go to the Data tab on the ribbon. In the Sort and Filter group, click Advanced. This opens the Advanced Filter dialog. Excel will usually detect your full data range automatically, but always double-check the List Range box. Next, select the Criteria range, that little table we built with Department and Salary. Here's where you choose. Filter the list in place hides rows that don't match, copy to another location, creates a separate filtered output. Let's first filter in place so you can see how it works. Click OK, and instantly, Excel hides every row that doesn't match. You now see only the finance employees earning over 70,000. The original data is still there, just hidden, so you can clear the filter anytime. Let's take it further. Open Advanced Filter again, but this time, choose Copy to another location. In the Copy To box, select a blank area on your sheet where you want the results to appear. Click OK. And now you have a brand new filtered table you can use for reports or export. Here's a fantastic trick. If, in your copy area, you type only certain column headers, for example, just first name, department, and salary, Excel will return only those columns from the filtered rows. Instead of copying the entire dataset, you get a clean, focused output with just the fields you need. It's perfect for preparing data for management sharing with colleagues, or feeding into another system. A quick tip. Your criteria headers must match your data headers exactly. Even a space or typo will break the filter. Also, leave a blank row under your criteria unless you're building multiple conditions. And remember, advanced filter doesn't update automatically. If your source data changes, just run the filter again. And that's advanced filtering in Excel. Build a criteria range. Apply the filter. Copy results to another area even with selected columns only. It's a game changer for anyone working with large datasets. If this helped you, please like this video and subscribe to Excel Hive for more time-saving Excel tutorials. Share your questions or your favorite use case for advanced filter in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and happy filtering.